should the athletes start trying to get the attention of college coaches and is it ever too late for a D1 recruiting? How I usually like to answer that is, yesterday would have been better than today, but today is better than tomorrow, you know, as far as when you should get started. Um, it's kind of a catch-22 because a lot of times the recruiting process, especially in sports like football and men's basketball, is, is pushed off so early. I mean, coaches are looking at kids honestly in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade in these yeah. sports, especially at the highest levels. So the catch-22 is by the time an athlete is, is physically, mentally, emotionally ready to start thinking about getting recruited for college, it's too late for them. You know, a lot of kids, they're, you know, they're going through their, their, their life as a young adult and they got a lot going on. And by the time they get to the beginning of their senior year, they start seriously thinking about playing in college. And it would be great if college coaches would just wait until everyone was a senior and then evaluate them equally and then, you know, recruit the ones that are good. The problem is the coaches are competing against one another and it's competitive and they're trying to get an advantage and they're trying to reach the kid earlier and earlier and earlier. This is becoming such a problem in the last 10 years that the NCAA currently is working on some legislation to try to prevent this early recruiting from happening. Wow. There's, uh, there's a couple things they've done to try to, to, to curb this, but uh, it's still a big problem. And, and the, the problem is that recruiting and evaluation is happening during 7th and 8th grade. And because of that, it's in your best interest to get started as early as possible. Now, I'd be lying to you if I said you have to do something in eighth grade or you're not going to get recruited, uh, but uh, I do think if you do get started around eighth or ninth grade, uh, you can, it's not essential to get recruited, but the great thing about it is it gives you a year or two to understand the process, to learn, to adapt to it. You only get to go through this thing one time. and. If you go through it the right way, it can be an awesome and fun process. If you wait too late, it can be rushed and stressful. And you know, if you make a mistake here in this recruiting process that prevents you from playing college sports, you'll never play college sports again. You know, there's not many 45 year olds out there running around, you know, playing college sports. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And you know, getting that education that comes with it, of course, is important. And sometimes sports helps kids get that education. So point is it's a really important thing you want to get right so we always encourage athletes to start early so they can learn they can understand how the process works so that when the time the really important time comes they're ready now the second part of your question was is it too late for d1 recruiting and that's where I would probably tell some kids that you know there comes a time when the, the, most of the division one spots are full kids that go on to actually play division one sports uh, hear from college coaches at least by their sophomore year mm -hmm. and they they're going on visits and getting serious attention from colleges during their junior year wow. so sometimes it's one of those things people will ask us like how do you know if you're a D1 prospect well it's kind of one of those um, if you have to ask then you aren't mm -hmm. you know like if you, you you would know you know like you know, I don't know the Congress definition of pornography is you know if, if, you don't, I don't know how to explain it, but I know it when I see it. It's kind of the same thing with, uh, uh, with a Division One athlete. I don't really know how to explain what the benchmarks and parameters are, but coaches know them when they see them, and they recruit them early. Now, there's always times when a kid, you know, hey, he grows six inches during his senior year, and he becomes a Division One prospect. Sure, that happens. But for the most part, uh, if you're not being seriously recruited during your junior year by Division One schools, it's pretty, it's pretty rare that you would eventually go on to be a Division One athlete. Is it ever too late, though? No, there's seniors out there that uh, they want to play and they're passionate about playing. Are there Division One full rides out there for them? Probably not. But are there opportunities to play in college still? If you really want to uh, go after that dream, it's not too late. You might not have as many choices, you might not have as many options, you might not be able to be as picky, um, but until school starts, until you know you're you're uh, enrolled in college, it's not too late. There's always something that you can do to help yourself. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization MP3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the mental toughness trainer.